it's Miss Elise again from the Amarillo Public Library East Branch and today we're going to make paper bag luminaries. Today we're going to be making the paper bag luminaries and believe it or not even though it is a kids program there are kind of a lot of moving parts. First what you want to have are different colors of tissue paper. I know that trees aren't blue in the fall, but I'm using my imagination. You also need a pair of scissors, a piece of wax paper, a brown paper bag, about six strips of cut black construction paper, some regular old scotch tape, a black Sharpie, Elmer's glue or glue stick, and last but not least, you will need a tea light. All right, let's begin. Let me say firstly that this is comprised of many steps. And the first thing that we wanna do is get our bag. This is the back of it, and we wanna turn it over and open it up. Boom, first step done. Now the second step, which may be kinda of hard for kids, parents you may need to come help them you want to get your scissors go in the bag and poke a hole yep that's right you want to poke a hole now that we've got our hole you want to cut out a square that leads close to the bottom of the bag it can be a rectangle it can be a square but it's going to serve as our window And boop, and there goes our window. Okay, now the next step is this. Go ahead and put your bag aside. You wanna get your wax paper. Let's bring the bag back real quick. And you wanna make sure that the wax paper will be somewhat bigger than your window. I have a lot of excess up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Okay, now, it's more equal to the size of the window. Now let's get rid of the paper bag. This is the part where you get to be creative. You get to make your own tree here, or trees, or however many bushes, or anything that you would like to make. I will caution you though, that the center of the paper, the wax paper, you do not want to color anything on because it will be hard to see because it will be covered by your window paint. So I'm gonna start making little trees right here. And forgive my artwork, I am not an artist, but I will try my best. Boom, I know it doesn't look good, but now what we need to do is start making our trees, limbs, and filling them in. And with our black Sharpie, I can just color that in and it can look like it is part of the tree. This can be a little bit taxing since this is kind of a fine point marker, but it is okay. If you want to, you can use a bigger marker. Okay, we're done with that one. Let's color in this one. This is our baby one, and it may not be seen because it's kind of close to the middle where the center pane will be, but it's okay. We can go ahead and get it done. Boom, there goes that one. Okay, finally, our last one. Let's go ahead and get that colored in. Oh, we forgot to put twigs on here. There we go. Now, let's get back to coloring this tree. And in all honesty, if you want to have different colored trees, as long as you have a Sharpie, you should be fine. Any kind of Sharpie would do. Use your imagination. And 
and then we will go to the next step. All right, there goes our forest. Now, for the next step, you want to flip it over. And you have two options here. We're done with the marker for now. You can use glue that's like this, or you can use stick glue. For brevity's sake, I'm going to use the glue stick because we're trying to go ahead and get this done. But if for some reason you want to, you don't have any glue stick on you, you can use liquid glue and it can, you can crumple up your paper like this and it'll not create a nice mosaic. But I'm not going to crumple up paper today, so I will be using the glue stick. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but this is the side we drew on. This is the side you need to flip it over to. Now this next step can be kind of tedious depending on how you want it, but you want to open up your glue, like I said, liquid or stick, and you want to get, with the liquid glue, you want to go ahead and put some in certain areas and go ahead and get your crumpled paper and put some on there. I know this is kind of hard to see because it's clear on white paper, but you'll get the idea whenever you get to do it yourself. Okay. I put glue on the top half of the wax paper. Now, I'm just gonna get strands and start placing them on there. And like I said, whenever you do this, you can pick any colors that you so choose. I, for one, like the red because in the fall, red is a usual color that you see on the trees as well as orange. Purple, not so much. But hey, we're using our imaginations. Okay, let's add some more glue and some more colors. Whenever you use liquid glue for this, it may take a little bit longer to dry just because of the consistency of it, but that's still not a problem. And again, you can use as many colors as you want to to help make this look more fallish or however you want yours to look. Your imagination is the limit. And once you flip it over after it is dry, boom, there goes your window. Okay, now, now we are done with the tissue paper. We wanna get this and our scissors and we want to cut off the excess paper that's there because we're about to do something a little bit precise and we need to have our ends cut as close as possible. Get our trash out of the way and there goes our tree in our forest now what we need let's go back to that paper bag and there goes our window so now what we want to do is tape our window our trees to the bag let's get some tape here and if you're trying to do this at home this is just plain scotch tape just plain old tape. If it hangs off a little bit on the sides, don't worry about it. We can just kind of fold it over because it's really thin or you can just let it hang. Now, do you remember those pieces of black paper that we had? Now you want those. Okay, this is our window frame right here. There's going to be excess because the paper is not the exact size, which is fine. So what you want to do is just snap off that extra piece. And if you want your window a little tighter, you can put it like, you see that little part right there that's hanging off? 
you can have it right on it. Or if you want to have a bigger window pane, you can have it above it. And I think I'll go with above it this time. You wanna get your glue, liquid or stick, put some tape on the side, and some glue on it, and flip it over. And there goes the top frame. Let's get another piece and get the side frame. This one came off a little bit. Let's get some more glue right here. Now, if you decide that you want your window to be more lifelike, for instance, if you don't have the cross in the middle of your window, like this for instance, you don't have to put it there. But I'm not going to do it this time because my trees are a little bit small and it's kind of hard to see them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and conclude this step we want to sit there, let it dry a little bit, go ahead and gather the rest of our supplies up and our trash. Let's get that together and we're going to dispose of it properly. Now here comes the fun part. Now that we have our window ready, what you want to do is get our tea light. Go ahead, turn it on, it'll light up or it should. And you want to get your bag open it up get your tea light place it in there and then boom you are finished thank you for joining me today guys making our paper bag luminaries and if you like stuff like this what you want to do is hit that like button subscribe button and hit that notification bell see you next time